twisted pair wires can be used in a number of instances. Um, I've got a, an example here of some wire that I made up a, a little while back and they can be very useful. For example, just keeping wires tidy on a lab bench as uh, I've used this one for. It stops the wires trailing everywhere. Or they can be used to reduce the amount of stray pickup or radiation. The reason being that the wires are close together, they're twisted together so they stay close together and the fields from them cancel out and this reduces, considerably reduces the amount of radiation or, or pickup. And in fact this is used in things like uh, uh, data transmission for, for wires and it's even used in uh, Ethernet cables. If you look inside an Ethernet cable you will see that the wires are twisted together. So let's show you now how to do it and at the end we'll give you some uh, top tips on how to make sure you make the best job you can. So the first thing we want to do is to cut uh, the wires uh, to length and it's quite important for this to make sure that they are uh, the same length and we'll cut this one to the length we want here and it's always worth putting extra on there uh, because it's no point in getting to the end and discovering oh dear it wasn't uh, long enough so we'll measure the second one out and just cut that to the same length and there we are so we've now got two wires the same length and what I'm going to do is just tie a knot in the end here and you'll see why a little bit later and it uh, just helps with the overall process so there we go with that and we'll then go and twist these wires together. So here we are we've come outside and what I'm going to do is to use a hook that's been conveniently placed uh, in the wall and um, I mean you could use a, a vise or, or anything uh, that you want just to, to make sure that the far end is anchored. I'm also going to tie a knot in the other end of the wire so that it then fits into the chuck of the drill. Now I'm going to use an electric drill but uh, you could also use a hand drill if you wanted but the electric drill is uh, nice and easy and we'll just put the, uh, the wire into the, the drill, the chuck and it helps if you've got a, a drill with a, a variable speed because then you can control how far uh, how fast it goes. So what we do now is just wind the, the wire and we wind it enough but not too much otherwise we can get some kinks in it and we just leave it there. We slightly overwind it uh, so that when it relaxes it'll go back to its normal state and maybe just a little bit more and that is the twisted pair wire done. We take this out of the drill bit here and it does unwind a little bit. So as you can see here we have the twisted pair wire. Uh, you can see the ends here that can easily be cut off and then they can be used as they want. Very simple, very easy to do and virtually no cost if you've got the wire and uh, anybody can do it at home. So there we are, that's how to make a twisted wire pair very very easily and I've done it a lot of times myself. But here are a few tips that I, I've learned the hard way myself. Number one, make sure that both wires are different colours so they're easy to identify. Once they're twisted it can be quite difficult if they're both the same colour. And make sure that you cut the wires a bit longer than you want. A couple of reasons for this. One is that you need to tie knots in the either, e either end as you saw in the way that I did it. Secondly, as you twist it together you will find that the, uh, the twisting action will actually shorten the overall cable length. And also you don't want to get right to the end and find that, oh, I wish I'd made it just that little bit uh, longer. So those are some of the tips. If you want more information there's plenty more in the links uh, that you'll see on the uh, description area and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.